Hello everyone. How are you guys? Uh, this is Kokab Manzoor, teacher, trainer, and life coach, and we are in continuation of our statistic for all series. This is lecture number nine, and today our topic is mood. We are discussing a uh, measure of central tendency. In the last lecture, we did discussion on median, how to calculate median, uh, group, ungrouped, and simple data from simple data. And prior to that, we had in lecture number seven, we had the discussion on arithmetic mean. So today we will discuss mode. Okay, what is mode? A very simple concept. Mode is the value which is most frequently occurring in the data. That's it. What is mode? It's the most frequently occurring value in the data set. So sometimes we have more than one mode as well. Like for example, we have a data, we have collected the data from any community or from anywhere. So, so we probably have two or three values which are mostly occurring again and again. So they are all occurring for like, for example, for five, five times. So uh, we say that all these three values will be called as more. Now, how to calculate it? Uh, okay, then, then, then one more thing is that sometimes we don't have mode at all. All the values are occurring for one time. So means there's no mode means nothing is occurring more uh, frequently than the others. So sometimes it happens. So this is, uh, this may happen in a mode as well, right? Okay, so what, uh, how to calculate the mode? It's very simple. Here we have the data set of anything, um, hospitals, uh, you can see number of children, number of uh, in, in, a, in a class or height or weight or anything, right? So here we have the representing the duration of days, US space shuttle voyages for a year 2016, 17, whatever. Now you see we have eight, nine, nine, 14, eight, eight, 10, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what is mode in it? So we see we have uh, eight, how many times? One, two, three, four, and five times, right? Similarly, nine, we have one, two, three, three times, right? 14, we have one, two, three times. And then 11, we have one and two times, right? So we have to figure it out which value is the mode, right? So you can easily, first, it was a little difficult to get all the values. So what we do, we arrange it in ascending order. So all the values that are arranged in ascending order, right? Six, seven, seven, we say we have two seven here, then eight, 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 you see one eight, two, one, another eight, another eight, and then another eight, then another eight. So you see, right, all the eight here, then nine, then 10, then 11 and 14. So it's very simple and evident. You can see eight is most frequently occurred value. So one, two, three, four, five time eight is occurring. So all the values, other values are occurring less than that. So eight is our mode. So simple, right? So I hope you got the concept, right? So there won't be any trouble in it. Similarly, if we have ungrouped frequency distribution, here we have X values, uh, 15, 20, 25, 30, and here is the frequency. I mean, anything uh, we have uh, um, occurring for three times, something occurring for 20 times, then eight, then three and two. So which is the mostly occurring value? Here, eight times. See, this occurs, 15 occurs three times, 20 occurs five times, 25 occurs eight times and three occurs three times and 35 occurs two times. So this means 25 is the mode because it is mostly occurred value or most frequently occurred value, clear? Now, what if we have grouped frequency distribution? It means we, there we have classes, model classes, class boundaries, right? So simply we will go with the largest frequency of the class, the way we had little early, right? Rather, sometimes the midpoint of the class is used rather than boundaries. So here, what we do, here is the class boundary, uh, sorry, classes 15 to 25. We have three frequency. Here we have five frequency. Here we have seven, three and two. So by just by looking at this data, you can easily found, you can easily find that this, this table is, or this class is having maximum frequency, means mostly occurred class is 25.5 to 30.5. 
this class is occurring for three times you can see it has less occurrence than five then three then two so this is mostly occurred well so what we did what we say the model class is this or the mode of our data is uh, mode of our data or the class uh, you can say model class is what 225.5 to 30.5 because it has maximum frequency so i hope it was very simple and easy so you would have got the concept if there is any confusion can question so you can still ask thank you take care see you in the next lecture right